Jason Nielsen here with United Prairie Bank. I'm with Wesley and Glenn Johnson from Chestnut Angus Farms. Glenn, tell us about your farm operation if you would. Well, we're a cow-calf operation. We raise breeding stock. We usually sell about 70 bulls a year and sell around 65 females a year. We have two annual sales and in our operation my two boys are involved, Wesley and Dawson and my wife Sherry. We uh, also farm some soybeans, corn, oats and alfalfa. Wesley, tell us a little bit about your involvement in the farm operation here at Chestnut Angus. We have about 300 registered Angus purebred cows. We calve in January and February every year. I'm the guy that kind of deciding what we're going to breed to, the next generation of genetics, and how we're going to advance our program into creating the better animal stock for our commercial breeders. We're sitting in your shop here in Chestnut Angus signs and the success you've had at various sales. Talk a little bit about building your brand as Chestnut Angus. We used to show cattle at a lot of different state fairs. Then we started going to Denver, the National Western, and I call it the Super Bowl of all cattle shows. That is a huge show for us. That's where we make our main focus every year. It just doesn't happen overnight. It's taken 20 some years of going to Denver that uh, people know who we are and come look at our cattle. And we're going in the right directions on our genetics. Glenn, as you look ahead to the future of Chestnut Angus and the operation with the boys here, what are some of the opportunities to team with United Prairie Bank to help those things come together for you? Well, we'd like to purchase some more ground, I guess, and expand our machinery. United Prairie would be good for that. And we just need a good banker relationship, and it's very helpful to have somebody that understands ag. How valuable have some of those modern tools been, such as online banking, mobile banking? It is very nice. You can jump right on there and within a second, check everything out, scroll through the checks that I've already sent out, or if they went through the bank, I really appreciate that. Probably the easiest though, as soon as I get a check for my cattle or anything, I can just plug it right in my phone, take a picture of it, snap it quick. I love checking my line of credit through my operating loan to buy the next generation bull that we think can prove our operation. All financial keep them separate from our bank accounts. The ladies in the bank are really good. They'll answer any questions that we need because technology is not the greatest with me and sometimes I need a little help and they're very helpful on both sides. How important is the relationship piece to your banking needs? The relationship is very huge with us and that's when uh, Jason comes in. Uh, just another guy, a third party that we can appreciate of deciding what we need to do, how we need to manage our money. I think we talk about it all the time. The want list, the need list, and the gotta have it list. Yep. Those are things that I think everybody should look through and then put it to paper. We just don't look for, we gotta do this today. We need to look at what we're gonna do for the future. It's a good relationship with a banker. Glenn, what are your keys to success in running a successful farm operation with the environment that we're in today? S success is, is, is a lot of hard work. And I guess we don't consider ourselves that successful. We consider ourselves lucky. And, and uh, what we do is, is all from the heart. What are some of the things you see as opportunities of the farming industry and where you're headed in the future? The future is unknown, to be honest with you, but it's always good to have good backing on talking over ideas that we'd like to do. I want to expand. That's what I want to do. I'm young enough generation. I want to be better. I want to be successful. But it all takes time and it all takes goals. Building some better bulls, building some better females. And we try to raise what we can sell, what our customers want. We raise cattle that are good footed, good udder, they're got to be thick. We just strive to make people's cattle better is what we do. Wesley, I want to thank you, Glenn, family, for letting us come out here today and appreciate your working with United Prairie Bank. And I'd like to thank you, Jason, for all you've done with United Prairie. You guys do a great job and I appreciate everything you guys have done for us, so thank you.